say you're in a situation where you do have someone's first name and last name, and instead of being two different columns, you want them in one column. The function for that would be known as concatenate. And the way that the verbiage for the formula would be is you would go to the cell where you want the final result to occur or appear equals concatenate the first cell that you want to get information from, some sort of spacer, it could be an empty space or a comma, and then the second cell. And so I'll go ahead and show you how this could look. I'm going to concatenate Ermgard Imhoff into one cell. If I went to equals concatenate and selected the first name, comma, last name, you would see that it merges into one big old word, which isn't very useful for me. So what I can do then is go in between the A7 and B7 and insert in quotes a space, and then a comma to separate the three parts, first name, space, last name. And when that's done, I like this format better. If that's the way I like it, I can just go ahead and drag it on down as far as I want, and I can put it together this way. Say, for instance, I do have a column with a first name and the last name, and I'd, I'd rather have it first, last name, comma, first name. Here's how that would look. Equals, concatenate, open parentheses, this individual's last name, comma, in quotes, the character I want between the names, comma, and the individual's first name. Close the parenthesis, and now I can see the way that it's said. If I'd like to have a space after the comma, well, then I can go ahead and do that too. And you see how that spreads it out. You take that and you can drag it on down in the same way. And that concatenate function can save you a lot of time and trouble if you're trying to put something together for some sort of presentation or activity.